OK, so we can get started with Neo4j. There are a couple of things we need to take note. The first is we're actually going to need a copy of Neo4j installed on our local machine. The other thing is to make sure we have a Java Development Kit, or JDK, installed. And we need to make sure we have the correct version. We need a version 1.7 or above, and if you don't have that, you just go along to the Oracle website, oracle.com, Tech Network, Java, Java SE Downloads, and there you can get access to the latest JDK. So if you don't have that installed in your machine, just click on this button, download it, and install it. Now once you've got that installed, we can go back to the Neo4j website at neo4j.com, and we can head over to the Download Neo4j button, and just click that. You'll notice there are two versions available to us. There's the Enterprise version and the Community version. Now, because we're just getting started with Neo and we're learning it, we're better off just using the Community Edition. So go ahead and download and install that. What you'll notice is that the website's fairly smart, so it's detected I've got a Windows machine, and it's started downloading the Neo4j Community Edition for Windows, because I'm running on a Windows machine. So what I'm going to do now is cut across to that being downloaded, and we can watch the install process. What I've done, I've actually copied across the executable that was just downloaded from the Neo4j website, and I've placed it into a local folder called Neo4j Beginners, because that's the name of the course on my C drive. Now all I'm going to do is select that file, and double click it, and start the installation process. You'll see this security warning pop up, so just click Run on that. And we're welcomed by this setup pop-up dialog, Welcome to Neo4j Community Setup. Now I'll just select the Next button here. Accept the agreement, select Next, and I'm going to install Neo in my program files under the Neo4j Community folder, which is the default. I'm OK with those, so hit Next. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select the checkbox to run Neo4j, and hit Finish. And what you'll see is that we're welcomed by this dialog box, which allows us to start Neo, and we'll just hit the Start button. As you'll see, Neo is starting, and it'll just take a few seconds to start up. What you'll notice is we can use Neo, or access Neo4j, via our web browser, and it's on localhost port 7474. So we can just click on this hyperlink, and you'll see the user interface for Neo4j within our browser. OK, so now we have Neo4j successfully installed. It's started and it's running. To stop it, we just basically go back to this dialog box and select the Stop button. As you can see, we can select any database you want with database location. And to restart it, just hit the Start button. In the next tutorial, we're going to start looking at Cypher, or the Cypher query language, and how we can build our database and start manipulating it using Cypher queries.